What's going on, my beautiful people? What is going on? So I'm gonna go ahead. I was gonna give y'all a throwback Thursday, but I'm gonna go ahead on and elaborate, do a part two on um, trusting your process, right? So the thing about it is, I said at the end, what I want y'all to grasp is that, you know, a lot of people do fall in love with the end product. And my black too heavy. A lot of people fall in love with the end product and they do forget about the process. You have to really understand that you know, in these times, we're living and we're learning. So the fact that you're living and you're learning, you're going to be going through a lot of things as you're achieving and you're growing, okay? As you're, you're starting to take these lessons and apply them to your life, um, you're going to be manifesting your dreams and things like that at the same time. So just making sure that you're not trying to keep up with the Joneses. Making sure that if you can't afford to be out, don't be out. It don't matter who pressure you. Like, I've had pressure when I was in the season of trying to save and trying to make sure I get what I needed. And I was tight financially. Um, I ain't let nobody sway me and be like, oh, you know, yeah, come on. I, I can't go. I can't go. I can't go. I, I'm going to have to lay it out. I need, need help, makeup. I need everything done. And I can't go, okay, because that's not where I'm at. I'm not doing it right now. And like I told y'all in the other video, if you got people around you that don't respect your time of sacrifice and your season to sacrifice, them ain't your people. But definitely got to trust the process, man. It's a process for everything. When you stay committed, you're committed to your your dreams, your goals, you're committed to life. So that means that you're going to stick through it, through the ups and downs, the ins and outs, and you're going to get it done. You're going to see it through, okay? So you got to trust that process. Trust when you down and it feels like you at the lowest in your life, okay? As long as you working and you know you keep that faith and you praying and you putting in that work, you treat people right and things of that nature. I promise you, you ain't gonna stay down. I admit them, okay? I left I, um, left a situation with a newborn. Well, she wasn't newborn. She was one years old. I mean, left everything, they had nothing. And it started off from scratch. You know, when you feel like you at your lowest, just keep praying. When you feel like you at your lowest, that's when you pray the most. That's when you, that's when you get it in. And when you at your highs, that's when you pray the most. When you at a real good point and you feel good and you comfortable, you get them prayers up because you need to stay up, okay? And God gonna embrace that gratitude and do what, it, what needs to be done. But yeah, definitely make sure y'all understand that about your process, man. It's a process for everything you do in life. I mean, for you to get better, start looking better, dressing better, feeling better, for you to grow. You know, you have to go through things to grow through things so you can become who you need to be. So just trust that, you know, trust that um, everything that you're doing in the moment, it's, it has purpose, okay, to where you need to go, you know, till you get to your destination, so you're driving and going through all these highways and roads and things of that nature, and soon you will be, you know, headed to your destination where you need to go, prices, motivation, trust the process, and stay loaded, all right?